check it out. Uh, Myron, the book is out, Smoking with Myron Mixon. You know, there's lots of cookbooks out there. Obviously, that's no surprise to you. So go ahead. I mean, what makes yours a little bit different than what's existing? I've been asked for the last probably seven years, you know, when was I going to come out with a cookbook? And, you know, I wanted to have something to go in a cookbook. I wanted it to be legitimate recipes. I wanted it to be good recipes that I use or have used. And I didn't want to just fill it up with, you know, I'm not saying anybody that we know has, but I don't want to fill it up with stuff that uh, just takes up pages. You know, I want it to be for real. That's why we only have a little over 70 recipes in this book. But the recipes in there are some of the recipes I teach at my cooking school. They're recipes I've used in competition. Uh, they're some of my favorite recipes that have nothing to do with barbecue in there. But they're all legitimate recipes. And, you know, I got to a point where in my career I felt comfortable enough putting it in paper because I'd already got comfortable enough teaching it. So we did it. And it made New York Times bestsellers list. It was number one for Barnes and Noble for several weeks, then Amazon. And right now we got over a hundred thousand copies out. So I think it's done really well. Oh, absolutely. So what's your favorite part of the book when you go back and read it? Favorite part of the book? Yeah. It's probably right there in the front, uh, talking about my dad. No, Jack Nixon, that's where the name Jack's Old South comes from. He's the one that got me started. Um, he's the one, I ain't going to tell you, asked me to help me cook barbecue. He made me and my brother cook barbecue with him. <laughs> and at the time we were doing it, it wasn't fun. Uh, I ain't going to tell you, I, I would ever dream I would be making a living doing anything with barbecue. But apparently I was, you know, while I was thinking it wasn't fun, I was learning something. And he's the one that got me where I'm at today. You know, I've talked to some of the, the guys in the barbecue world that have written a number of books. Of course, uh, two people that come to mind. Uh, you have the, the Canadian star up there, Ted Reeder, who has penned, you know, probably 758,000 cookbooks. And then a uh, friend of uh, both of ours, Ray Lampy, has cooked or has, uh, you know, written four or five different cookbooks. You know, I've asked each one of them. How was that first book when you turned it out? Was it easy as you thought it was going to be? Was it harder than you thought it was going to be? Where did it weigh out for you? Uh, getting the book out, I mean, as far as writing the recipes, and I had a great uh, ghostwriter, as you want to call it, Kelly Alexandra. I mean, she did a great job with me. She came down and spent a week, and we cooked every recipe I had in the book. Uh, we had our food stylist there that said it. We had a photographer there that shot it. And to me, it was pretty pretty straightforward. It was a lot of work. But I already knew in my mind what recipes I could use. It wasn't hard to go back in my in my uh, file that I keep in my head and, and just pull them and, you know, write them down and do them. So to me, the first book was easier than what possibly the second book that we do will be. Because I can't even fathom right now what that second book will be about. Yeah, I was going to just now ask I got you. Little, is there I any... got a few ideas, but I mean, you know, how do you follow it up? And that's the hard thing to me. Is, is there something that's in the works right now, or were you signed to, you know, more than just a one book deal? We're looking to do a second book, but we want to kind of correlate it with another show. You know, have another TV show go up before we do another book. All right, so we'll be on the lookout for that. We're talking with Myron Mixon, Jack's Old South Pitmaster, jacksoldsouth.com. Uh, Myron, before I let you go, and, and I guess it's kind of a unique segue when I asked you about what your favorite part of the book was, and you mentioned your father. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Mike Mixon that's the uh, pitmaster of Jack's New South. Uh, you probably heard of him. You know, there's another <laughs> another Mixon in competition barbecue world. Did you think this was something that Mike wanted to do eventually, or did this come as a surprise to you? It came, it came as a surprise to me because I go and tell you, both my sons, uh, David and uh, Mike, I have to make them, or I used to have to make them go with me when I needed them to go with me to cook. Because basically, I needed some labor to help me put up tents, lay down tents. And I understand being kids, they didn't like it. And, you know, you kind of, they I knew they, they kind of drug, drug around and didn't really want to go with me, but I made them go, kind of like what my dad did. But it really surprised me that he started a competition team with Jack New South. And what even surprised me more is how well he's done. 
because I would have fed the farm. He wasn't paying attention when he was around. <laughs> you know, he's been to a couple of my cook schools hanging out, but he never stood, you know, stayed for the whole thing. And when he was with me in competitions, you know, he was all doing something else when I was actually doing turn-ins or making up sauces or whatever. He'd be back there to help me pack up. But it really surprised me, and he's made me very proud. I mean, I'm glad to see a mixer taking the time and, and effort when he's not in college. He's in college now. I don't let him miss school to go do these things. But, you know, it uh, made me a proud dad. And it's Mike Mixon from Jack's New South. Martin, I'm interested to get your uh, take on the team name. You know, you're Jack's Old South. Uh, he's Jack's New South. Would you have liked to have seen anything more original from that, or are you happy to see it kind of you know, bridge the uh, the team name that you had uh, with something that's obviously a newer version, a newer um, uh, a newer generation of competition cook in the Mixon family? I was proud to see him take the New South. I mean, one day maybe he'll be the one that's leading the way for the old South. <laughs> you know, and I don't blame him a bit on the new South because it gives him uh, some degree of, uh, of I guess, what do you want to say, he's been uh, certified a little bit. Right. But also with that name and also with his credentials <laughs> of being my son, people expect a lot from him. Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, it's got to be a tougher row for him to hoe, or, or perhaps it's going to be a tougher row for him to hoe because, you know, you're his dad. You, you know, and, and a lot of people expected, you know, him to do well, and he has done well. Uh, some people expect him to do better than what he has done, but, you know, he just started in the first part of this year, and he's really come on, he's really paid attention. He gets with me now, and he talks about flavors. He talks about things that I never knew would even come out of his mouth about barbecuing. And uh, I'm just telling you, it's, it's amazing. He made a 180-degree turnaround from what I thought he ever would. I thought he would never. Of all my children, Michael wouldn't have been the one, but he is. Do you think Michael is going to be... At a disadvantage regardless, uh, and obviously it's through no fault of his own because uh, Myron Mixon is his dad. Is he always going to be, well, he's got an unfair advantage just why he's doing well, or if he's not doing well, he should be doing better because Myron is his dad. Is he always going to have that kind of a shadow, or is he going to be able to break out of that at some point, do you think? I, it's going to be up to him because, and I know it gets that. I mean, a lot of people, the success he's had, taking a lot of reserve grants so far this year, yep. and he's not put his first grant yet. But a lot of people think he's getting it because of his dad. Dad's helping him, his dad's doing this for him. Well, but then again, if he goes and he hits a couple of contests losing streak, then, you know, he ain't living, he ain't filling those shoes. And then one of two things happens when this type of situation comes around. Yep. You know, you get this weight on you, you either get stronger for it, or you let it break you. you know, and I believe Michael's not going to let it break you. He's going to get stronger for it. And he'll be able to break out and become his own man. Myron Mixon joining us here on the show, jacksoldsouth.com, the website. Uh, Myron, are you going to be competing anywhere prior to Jack Daniels? I'm going to Lyons, Georgia, this weekend, right there close to Vidalia. Mm-hmm. Uh, next weekend, I'm going down to do a... Uh, Davis Love the third his, his uh, golf tournament he does down there at the Porsche at St. Simons. I'm going down there to hang out with them, and then we get ready for the Jack. All right, so a couple busy weeks headed before the Jack, and again, Myron Mixon is the pitmaster of Jack's Old South. Myron, you know, if you win the Jack this year, got to turn you that following Tuesday so we can recap the event. Hopefully, I can count on you for that. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm a little lizard, Jack. I tell you, I tell you, I'd go out there and jump in the creek, but I've already done that. <laughs> all right. Well, if you win, we'll have you back on, and uh, we can talk about all the the victory celebrations and all that good stuff. But regardless, continued success, Myron. We'll talk to you soon. All right, big man. Talk to y'all later. All right. Take Thanks. care. It's Myron Mixon right there, pitmaster of Jack's Old South. How about that class act right there? I think Myron gets a bad rap now for being. Uh, trust me. Talked to Myron uh, more than a few times. 
That's the guy that comes on this show. You go back and see all the, the different times I've interviewed him. TV, you get a different Myron Mixon. Let's just say that. 